Hi guys, this is Leslie and Jess and Maddie from Leslie Loves Veggies and I thought I would do something different today. I follow a blog called Nacho Mama's blog and she has a, um, a YouTube channel. Her name is Margo. She is so cute and I love her and I, I feel like we have a lot in common um, except that she's thin and I'm not. But anyway, that. but I digress. She did a video and it was called um, Guilty Pleasures, hashtag Guilty Pleasures tag guilty pleasures and I just thought it was so much fun I said to Jessica let's do it but let's not think about it. let's just do it on the fly <clears throat> so what it is is um, these questions and I think it's like 10 questions or something eight questions and you just answer them and I would love for you if you've done a guilty pleasures tag to to leave it down below because I would love to see it I think that it's so funny and um, you know if you don't want to do guilty pleasures really? tag just look at the questions and tell me maybe you can answer one of them and tell me what one of your guilty pleasures are <laughs> So let's just get started, Jessica. The guilty, guilty pleasure tag prompts. Seriously. Number one, TV show you love but should not confess to. Oh, gosh. Um, I love me some Family Matters and Full House. Uh, like but I've been, Yeah, but I've been like really into the Impractical Jokers lately. That show is funny, Jessica. Is really I do funny. not, do not, do not watch a lot of television. I have to be honest with you. But I guess... If I had to say I had a guilty pleasures, I guess it really would be the Real Housewives of Atlanta because I live oh, in Atlanta. Mom, that is trash. That is trash. But then you I'll, then I'll but, watch my Courtney Kardashian. But I do have to tell you this: that my mom used to watch Jerry Springer. I would go over there and she would quick try to shut it off. And I said to her, I put I put a um, a sign on her TV and it said, "I shall set no wicked thing before mine eyes." And she says, "But I just love Jerry Springer." And I wanted to beat her because that was such garbage. Who doesn't love some Jerry beef? Who doesn't? No. Okay. Number two, food. You eat what? Mm. Cold pizza and s'mores. And here's the bad thing about that, Jessica. Got to have it with Coca Cola. I don't think that you refrigerate the pizza overnight. Yes, you do. <clears throat> okay, because some, pe <clears throat> some people don't do that, and that is. See, so you can get you sick from that. That's salmonella. That's stereo. a quick. That's a quick way to the emergency mm. room. I gotta say, my guilty pleasure. Mm, Cadbury cream. Oh eggs. God, I love them. I love Cadbury cream eggs. I mean, if they're here, I am gonna dip into them and I'm gonna eat the. Uh, you know what I do? I take them and I go like this, and I go, you want some scrambled eggs? And then I just eat them. I mean, I, it's pitiful, but I am addicted to chocolate, and those are my all-time favorite. Okay, number three. Music I love and others just cringe at. Well, you don't even know. She doesn't even know. Give it to me. She wants her grandmother. Um, I don't know. You, you I love me some Alanis Morissette. That is my, that's not, is that's that my, my hate girl. But is that cringeworthy? It's cringeworthy. I don't think it's cringeworthy. I mean, I love... Everything. I really do. I have everything on my phone, but I guess my cringeworthy is probably the Carpenters. <laughs> because I, I always sing to the kids, and I sing to my little grandson when he was born, so I was singing him Top of the World. And someone said to me, Wow, you're talented. You made that song up. I said, No, I didn't make it up. It's the Carpenters. Karen Carpenter sang that. Do you think I'd be that talented, you big <clears throat> dope? Right, so that's my guilty pleasure, but I also love John Denver. Man, I love John Denver. I wish he wasn't dead, but that's another point. Okay. Um, number four, my, my guilty online habit. Facebook. I mean, YouTubing like stupid stuff. I mean, it was YouTube stupid stuff. You know, the problem with me uh, is... Jenna Marbles. The problem with me is when I get... We have to go this way. The problem with me is if I get on the computer, I can't get off because I do have a blog and I do have the, my YouTube. So every time I get on, I feel guilty. Is it a pleasure? No. But I guess I just love watching YouTube videos because it's new to me. Um, I've you know I've done the Facebook thing because of my job. I've done Twitter. I love YouTube, booby. But to me, YouTube. I love watching people. I love watching what they say. I love ha watching how they say it. So YouTube to me, I feel guilty doing it because it's more personable than Facebook. But then I also say, well, I'm doing it. For, I'm doing it as research for my job. But no, I'm not. I'm doing it because I absolutely love it. And I mean, I don't watch TV, so you'd think I wouldn't really love YouTube, but I do. Next, I love to wear blank, but I shouldn't. <laughs> Leg warmers. <laughs> Shorts. I have fat little legs. But I wear them because they're just... I, mean, I live in Georgia. What do you want me to do? It's it's hot here. But I wouldn't put my fat behind in a bathing suit, but I will put my fat behind in shorts. Why am I screaming? <laughs> okay. Number six. Movie you shouldn't... You should not love so much, but you do. <clears throat> do I have to go first? Yeah. Is it Back to dirt? the future. Uh, well, I should have known that. You are crazy about that movie. This is a movie from a long, long time ago. If you pull my you know, I'm going bald, guys. If you have any minoxidil Let me guess. or rogue games. Dirty any, Dancing. No, no, no. It's a movie called Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore. And it became, the movie became a spinoff of the show Alice, the, um, you know, Alice the Diner with Mel 
whatever his name was, mm -hmm. and um, Linda Lavin. I, if you have never seen that movie, it's just such a good movie. And I just, I think um, Ellen Burson played Allison. It was just a really, really good movie. And it was big at the time, but it's not big now. But, I mean, I, I could watch that movie a thousand times. Okay, funny habit people comment on. Huh. I don't really have any, I don't have any funny matter. I mean, I bite my inside cheek. Yeah, you go like this. I do that a lot. Um, I mean, you do a lot of things that I comment on all because they're funny to me. I'm OCD. Yeah, that's the one thing that I am OCD about. If my my tea, my teapot has to be on the back right burner facing that way. Mine's on the left side facing inside. And if it's not, and someone moves it, makes a cup of tea and moves it, I will, you know, saunter over there and I will move it because it just it'll it'll drive me crazy. That's sick. That's mm. sick, Jessica. Yeah, but a personal answer. mannerism, I don't know. I mean, I talk. I don't know. I guess you maybe, use your hands a lot. The funny thing that Jessica does Here's is the thing. she can copy anybody and she remembers everything about everyone. She told me my she told me her dad, if he has something important to say, he'll go, <clears throat> he'll say it and then he'll go. <clears throat> so I watched him last night. By God, that's exactly what he said. Something about the car and he went. <clears throat> <clears throat> he did it, Jess. Mm -hmm. You you know him. Okay. Number eight. Makeup look that you love, but is just so wrong. Ombre lips. Reverse you ombre. Do the reverse ombre. Dark on the inside, light on the outside. I'm trying to make that trend. Okay. I like it. I think it looks pretty. Makeup that's like a bitten and I'm eating blood and it's just coming out. I'll tell you what I used what what the makeup used that I used to like and is so wrong and I don't do it anymore because I can't think of one. I used to put um concealer under my eyes, but I was young, I didn't know. And I put it I mean I thought the lighter the color, the more it would conceal. Looking back on the pictures. Your mother, a little warm. your mother was a raccoon. I mean, I was a raccoon. <clears throat> I was a raccoon. I had this, I have pale skin as it is, so you can imagine that I was using white concealer. And I look like a pale face. Oh. With glowy eyes. With glowy eyes. And Maddie, what's your, what's your guilty pleasure? Uh, breast, breast milk? Gotcha. No. So what, so what have a good vanilla ice cream? Mm. Are you giving her vanilla ice cream? No, you know what I made her yesterday? I made her nice cream. I took bananas, frozen bananas, she's thinking about it now, she's drooling, and I put them in my high-speed blender with a little bit of um, coconut water and some cinnamon. She thought it was ice cream because she ate like a whole ramekin full, and she was like, <laughs> nice dream is her guilty pleasure, but don't mm -hmm. tell her it's healthy for her because I don't want her to know. I don't want her to know. So, I, mean, I can't think of any other guilty pleasures that I have. I mean, sometimes I watch the Kardashians. Jessica, you don't sometimes watch it. If it's on, you're going to watch it. Let's call a spade a spade. And I like the George Lopez show. Do I have any guilty pleasures that I haven't confessed to? Mm, you just, you on your phone a lot. <clears throat> I'm on my phone for my blog, Leslie Loves Veggies. That's not pleasure. You love a good YouTube. I do love a good YouTube. I mean, I, 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 I mean, I can't get enough of Jenna. Can I just tell you, I my favorites. I really love Nacho Mama's blog. I love Cynthia Beaumont. Mm -hmm. I love Graveyard, Graveyard Girl. Girl. Oh mm -hmm. my God, I love her. I love Jenna Marbles. I mean, Jenna Marbles. That, that's your thing. She's okay. She's cute. Um, I love myself. I love you too. I mean, is that this? Oh, you know, who I love um, the glamorous life. She's so sweet, and her. I mean. She, you know, I like finding about new end products from her, but I probably can't afford them. But I just like watching her. I think she's so beautiful too. And um, who else have I? Who else have I told you to watch? <clears throat> I mean, Tanny Raw. I love Tanny Raw. Now, uh, I was a vegan for a very, very long time, and I still like to eat vegan. And she's raw vegan, so I just and I, she sings in the beginning of all her videos. She's really sweet too. Oh, and you know who else? I I really I'm just like um, fascinated with. Um, Connor Harris. He's a teenage mm. vegan, and he is so darn adorable. And he's he thinks about what he's going to say, so he's articulate, but yet he's still young, and he's like seems like a little bit vulnerable. And he's just so cute, and I love the food that he makes. And let me tell you, that kid can cook. Mm. That kid can cook mm. up a storm. Is, yeah, he's adorable. I really, yes. really like him. So you know, if you like these guys that I that I mentioned, you know, check out check them out and see what you think. And maybe um, ask us some questions you want to know. We might answer some of them. I would say we would. Why not? Yes. We'll make a video and we'll right. tribute it to you guys, our viewers. Right. We'll answer some of your questions. We'll some of your questions. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. <sighs> not a thumbs down. Maddie, why are you doing that? Why are you doing it? You know what? She's. You're on time out. You're on time. See? Look, she's going. 
No, you don't, you don't give, that's rude, it's disrespectful, and it's simply wrong. Remember, karma's a butt biter. You give someone a thumbs down, you know what they're going to do? They're going to give you a thumbs down. It's not nice. We digress. We digress. If you love our videos, be sure to subscribe, guys. Thanks. Bye. Bye.